this bit of geology at home, you put it in bottle that, it doesn't matter. But it's a sort of a one piece in the end of the future cells that was mentioned is one of the most decorated players in the game and one of the best goalkeepers we've ever seen. We've never seen so. And this season, just by going down to ground level for a guy his size, he's just a massive threat, really hard to stop. His form was great, we're going to take a look at uh, you alongside Dirk Bay. You really handled that match up and very well. You know, you've done this, you've been raised a long time, haven't you? Oh, absolutely. He shows last week that, you know, that he was contesting Mark. He is a seed here, but it's a player on the size match up, and that's the risk that you're running. You really need that area support. Um, and the ground level just surrounding all the small 50s, just trying to snap on the ball. So, you can play small against the current ground level. You can get something up in the air, so you can get more movement and then all the way around. initially in that first half, and that's what's going to be. He's still aware that he's on the ground, but I think he's going to see him right here as well. Absolutely, he agrees with him in a massive threat as well, which is why I think he's a great in the fact that he's been able to get up with his body. He just takes a bit of that pressure off Lance and um, asks the Jordan defence another question. And, um, as an aerial player, he's, he's as good as they, as they come at full stretch, so he's going he's gonna to be a tough one as well. So the record was joke, but our half of the buddy, four goals away from the second all-time final, so goal kicker great Jason Dustin with four goals today, and still going to work and sign on for another season as well, but he's extraordinary. And he's, he's been such a revelation, and the longevity as well, there was a lot of criticism about the, the length of the deal that the Swans gave him, but he's played up to it and, and beyond, and to think that in the last year of that deal, and he's again at, at a grand final, and they, the return on the investment for the Sydney Swans, not just thinking about what it's done for the, the game in Sydney, but also what he's been able to produce on the field. 52 goals this year already. Uh, Multiple columns in his time in the Swans, taking the grand final three times. So it has been incredible. I like to find a little shot back too, but down as you see, one year, you've got that. I'll uh, take an extra year if you don't mind, Ellis. An uh, easy final series, that's more for you in any sense to work. Tom Hawkins, another legend of the game, a future Hall of Fame. Yeah, even the qualifying finals this year, you couldn't handle yourself any better. I hope you were the best part of the ground this night. That's a different match up, and you Tom Hawkins. Yeah, it's a different match up. He obviously plays a lot closer to goal. Um, and the massive threat with Tom is just the connection he's got with the midfielders. So, obviously, Josh Stolwood and Plus, I can't go to him, which they just know how to ball on a platform. So, as we see here, if you can get that support, but if you can get isolated and you've got Joel Selwood coming shoulders out at full speed inside 50, it's, um, it's pretty tough. So, and they know how to play big games as well, of course, so they won't be over your way. And of course, he's not such an unselfish player as well. His four assist numbers speak for themselves. So, as a forward, he just brings all the, all the other forwards into it and they're never out of it. It's interesting you mentioned Joel Selwood. They play their 32nd final together at the time of all that Joel Selwood, which is, again, another record that Joel Selwood breaks the all-time finals record today, 45 is going to the great Michael Tuck. Joel, let me ask you about that chap that Ken Rampey, the teammate that you know incredibly well, has had a lot of history in Jeremy Cannon. That just about is the biggest matchup in the day. Yeah, absolutely. Jeremy Cannon, I think, can just get a bit more take for us on this round. He's just such a great player. He can beat the air, he can beat the air, but also his ground level work and his skill skills as well. Absolutely, and I think we've seen this year just reading all these players, obviously he's spent four months joining last year finding his feet and then this year he just gets up the ground, he plays deeper, he can release other players and um, that freedom is so hard to stop, so that'll be part of Sydney's defensive calculus is can we let him go up to half back and get something that we want, you know, Mark Clark and others obviously massive aerial threat, so are they going to be happy to let a smaller player like Dane Rampey play on him, tack him up the ground, and then they can sit their defence behind that a little bit easier? It'll be a fascinating matchup, and as we know, we can hit the scoreboard just as easily from up the ground, so it's going to be nothing for sure. Joe, let me tell you, your high last performance player, Tyson Stingle, was running away from the South Australian football league last year, he would run the ball to anyone, he would win 12 months of his North Australian. He's just been just one of the best stories of, of the whole year and, and I think that what he offers is to long side and takes the ball by pressure. We know that they've got the, the big uh, camera and the ball and so with the aerial threat and that leash that he's been able to, to provide with, with Gary Rowan. I think it, it provides turnovers from their ball up, which is such a big metric and uh, that's what they really need to be able to look at in terms of having great pressure, time and forward half, being able to defend the ground 
the way that they do is sit up by how much pressure they can put on that boy line. And easy credit to the culture they've got down at Geelong. But whilst we hear a lot about the famous place culture that you're a part of at the Sydney Swans, what does it mean? Well, let's take a look. Oh, yeah.